Hi, I'm Catherine. Today I'll be talking about how to promote diversity and retention behind the scenes. Even though the lack of diversity in tech is a well-known problem, a lot more still needs to be done to bring more underrepresented groups into tech and retain them. Hackathons serve as a unique untapped solution to this. There has been incredible work done by hackathons to support underrepresented groups, and we should definitely continue to organize and support these hackathons and similar initiatives. But today, I want to focus on actions that all hackathons can take to promote diversity and retention, especially actions behind the scenes. Many efforts promoting diversity and inclusion at hackathons are solely focused on hacker demographics. While this is necessary, I want to spotlight three other ways on the organizer side that we can help empower hackers from underrepresented backgrounds, not just during the hackathon, but also beyond. One, invite diverse volunteers. Reaching out to invite speakers, mentors, judges, and other volunteers is a key component of us organizers elevating hacker experiences. Anyone can hack a project anywhere, anytime. So what makes your hackathon unique so that people want to come? It's the people and events. In building a diverse network of volunteers, hackathon organizers can help increase confidence, reduce feelings of isolation, and pass on wisdom to future generations. If you organize a hackathon and all the speakers, judges, and mentors come from the same background, what message are you sending to hackers who are not of that background? I've seen this happen at many hackathons I've attended, and I truly believe that this was not an intentional decision. Going forward, I hope all hackathon teams will consider more intentionally about who and how you invite external volunteers. Two, create community through safe spaces. For underrepresented individuals, going to hackathons isn't an easy task. Hackathons can help mitigate barriers by creating safe spaces. This can be done both virtually and in person. When you create your hacker Slack or Discord, you can create channels for different underrepresented groups to join. Then hackers can meet others similar to them and begin to build friendships and community. And don't just create these channels, make sure you promote them as well. Hackathon veterans know they should click browse channels, hackathon newbies may not. You can do the same thing in person as well. One idea that worked well at, at Hack Harvard in recent years is creating meetups for different groups, as well as their allies. And don't forget to put these socials on the schedule, emphasize their presence, and bring snacks at these meetups too. These events may not be flashy like big sponsor talks or group games, but they're just as important to plan and care for during a hackathon. Three, highlight non-traditional career paths. There are many individuals in the tech industry who don't work as software engineers, but that's something I thought was true for a long time. And in talking to many other students from underrepresented backgrounds, I realized I wasn't the only one. In the second year of Pixel Hacks, we invited speakers and workshop leaders with widely varying career paths. One attendee commented this, that such an environment helped them learn about how diverse the tech industry can be. The feedback we received differed enorm enormously from years where we did not seek to highlight non-traditional career paths and options. Whether it's through talks, panels, mentor testimonials, a resource guide, or a virtual group for discussing career questions and advice after the hackathon, there are many creative options for highlighting different non-traditional career paths for hackers to consider. This point ties in well with the first. Being able to spotlight other career paths in technology is closely related to the mission of fostering a diverse presence at the hackathon through volunteers. To conclude, there are three behind the scenes actions you can take to help promote diversity and retention as a hackathon organizer, inviting diverse volunteers, creating community through safe spaces, and highlighting non-traditional career paths. These steps will enrich experiences for hackers from underrepresented backgrounds, both during the hackathon and beyond. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any other suggestions or feedback, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you all.